Hello my friends, welcome back. In the previous videos that we have worked on, we worked only on the back end stuff. And what we are going to focus for the rest of this video is to work on the front end, that is the back end. So let's get started. So before we continue, I want to remind you that I already have a folder called front end. But when I open it, as you can see, there is nothing inside. So let's get over to our terminal and start install React. So let me cd into the front end folder that I created. And then let me just um, run the NPS create React app to create my React application react app and let me remind you that if you already have a folder inside your application or create it you don't need to specify the folder name otherwise it will install a subfolder into that but i want to install all the files inside so i'll just bring it, say dot but if there's no folder here i can specify the folder name either client or whatever but i will start to install the files inside that folder all right so so as you can see it has finished installed successfully so let's head over to our project and open it as you can see we have our react app installed so what we are going to focus on next is to run both our front end and the back end at the same time so as I stand right now, our back end is running on a different server and our client is also running on a different server. You can open different tab and run the server of the React and the back end, but I just want to run the both um, project at the same time. So let's head over to our project and inside your back end, the main um, directly the main files here on the pack releasing file of your back end. Let me delete. I think I was having some. Yeah, let me go back again. Yeah. So as a stand right now, we only have one script called server. Server. So let me remind you again. Not inside your front end, but your back end package.json file. So let's start configuring this script to run both our server and a client at the same time but before we jump into that i want to add one script which is very important and this script is called start this start is going to be used by heroku or any de de deployment platform to run your application so i'll move to my back end folder and in there i have my server.js and my comma so that is where this is where my server is located, my backend and my server.json file. Alright, so the next script is that I want to run my client inside my backend. So I will say client and npm starts and then dash dash prefix and then my front end. This script is gonna run our React app inside our back end. So let's try. So let me clear my console. Let me go up, go back to my main project directly and then say yarn client. If you're using npm, to be npm client. So as you can see, it's running my React application inside my back end. So let's continue. I want to run my back end with a client at the same time. Next syntax is called um, dev but before that we need to install additional package called con concurrently which will help us to run both our back and the front end at the same time so we can add concurrently and while it's installing let's configure it and then I'm going to mix up the package we are installing or we just install concurrently and back tick so it's back to or backslide and code. And then let me case of npm run server. And then backslide code. 
backslide and then there I will say npm run client and let me close this one with backslide and my code code as that so with this syntax we are going to run both our client and the server at the same time so let's try so let me run yarn dev or npm dev and as you can see i think i have some typo error or some spacing here so let me check again um, my backslide is here npm run server as a server sorry that is the mistake i made and let's try again okay now it's working perfectly so to be able to check whether it's working let's make a request to our back end to fetch a book so let's head over to our postman and then here this fetch book route ap api slash books let's fetch again as you can see now it has been fetched right so guys in this video you will start installing or configuring redux